So remember there was a sliding glass door wall over here. I just deleted it. And since it was placed in the wall, the wall went back as I wanted it to be. I'd like to show you now um, a parametric uh, component that I made. I borrowed the uh, hanger, three-dimensional hanger from uh, Revit City. It's not drawn to the right distance uh, width, but it works for me. And so I will load this on Blackboard if you want to use it. But basically, it has the closet rod, the shelf, and the hangers. And the hangers are bigger. And every time I use the, this component, I'm reminded that I need to fix it, but I always forget to. But anyway, you can see what happens here is it uses or it shows the amount of hangers that, and the length of the rod and the shelf based on where I drag it to. So I'm going to mirror that about the center of the door. No, that goes in. So now when you look at that, there's no question about what that is. So I'll save this. And I can say create similar, just go up to the architecture tab and say component, and it'll put that in again. And right there looks pretty good. Then just click on it and drag it over so that it fits. Again, I'll just mirror that about the uh, center line of the door. You can see that the door is not centered. Um, so I'll delete that and let's measure what this distance is. Really for this to work, it needs to be six feet. It's pretty darn close. So that should work. So I guess I'll go in and center the door first from here to the center to there. Bring that over here and just say equal. That guy. Okay, so now when I mirror this about the center of the door, it should work and fit on this side of the wall and it didn't again. <laughs> so I'll use the align tool and I'll just pick that line right there and this guy, and then go back in and pick this guy. And so I'm questioning which line is the shelf. And if I hover over this one, I can see over here that it highlights it. So it's not that one. So it is this one. But that looks pretty tight. It is almost six feet wide, so that should work. Uh, although it looks like we're going to have trouble opening the door because of the hangers, but the hangers are actually drawn too large. And so now I'll use my create similar feature and just come over here, and put it right there. Okay, and then I'll have to drag it a little bit. So drag it across there. Closet, closet, closet. I've got this one over here. This one's a little unique. Create similar. Space, space. Spin it around and place it over here. And then we'll drag it over to where it's supposed to be. And then again, Create similar, put it there, and click on it. Can I spin it around? Yes, I can. So I'm going to align it back here with the gypsum board. And then I'll stretch this guy down a little bit, but it won't go all the way so that clothing can be hung there. And I'll bring this guy down to there. So this is a little different arrangement for the closet. And then I'll copy this guy just from the edge of the gypsum board there to the corner of the gypsum board there. And then what do I need to do? I need to extend it down to here. And then hopefully the door is centered this time. And now I have my hanging in the uh, 
second floor closets. As I said, I will put this up on Blackboard as a family. And if you want to add this in this hanging into your project, uh, you, you are more than welcome to. So I'll stop it here. <laughs>